Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me. This is Keita from At Home with Keita. And today we're gonna to be doing a plan with me in my catch-all planner. I decided I wanted to do a spring spread since we have just entered into spring and that is probably, well, I think I love fall the most, but spring is right up there. So I know for sure I'm gonna enjoy this spread. So if you're new to my channel, I hope you'll stick around and consider subscribing. I also hope you'll give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. So let's jump in and plan for the week. If you wanna see that, make sure to keep watching. next week because I'm already planned for this week so this is how this week's turned out I did a video on my channel last week showing you guys how I use the functional pastels which is our new sticker book and then I used our new floral washi which is really pretty you guys know I pop in a habit tracker and then I also pop in a meal planner so this is our meal plan for the week and I also write the meal plan here we are going camping this week. It is spring break. And um, so I'm excited about that. So I pretty much wrote in a lot of things. It's not gonna be too busy on the later end of the week because I'm trying to just really enjoy myself. So I'm not taking anything with me, just the family. <laughs> And, um, and I'm looking forward to that. So I did write in some lunch ideas because I'm going to be um, doing lunches for Addison next week. And she told me some things that she wanted to do or me to include. Sometimes lunch is hit or miss. And um, so she was very specific with me with what she wanted me to add to her lunches. So I have a little note there and then everything just flows. So I love this week's spread, especially because it's my first spread using functional pastels. So we are going to move on. I am back in the dashboard layout, as you guys know. And so so we're gonna move to the next week. Let me date this week first, you guys. I forgot to do that on camera. Sometimes I just write it in as opposed to using our date dots. It just depends on my mood. So I'm gonna go ahead and date this real quick. That should technically be the first thing I do, but sometimes I forget. So the, this is the week that we're in right now. Today is the fifth. All right. So we are planning for the week of the 12th through the 18th. My goodness, I thought April just started. What is happening? I feel like these months are just going by so quick. So let me do that first. Let me go ahead and date it. I do have date dots here in my planner that I keep in this little pocket here. And then I'm gonna grab my tweezers. All right, so that's done. So the stickers I'm gonna be using today are going to be the Colorful Shapes. And then we're gonna use this OG seasonal sticker book. And then I'm gonna be using, of course, Functional Pastels. I have to use my sticker book again. So we'll see how much of this I use. I might pretty much use this over this. So we'll see how that works out. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. And y'all know I'm kind of all over the place, but I. I think I have pretty much started to plan on this side first and then I'll move over to this side. So this has a spring theme in it. So I'll just turn to those pages and then we'll use mostly those stickers. So you guys know down here is our family activity section. So I'm going to lay this sticker first and this is where I put like things that I wanna do with the family. We do a family game night every week. And then we try to see if we can get out somewhere if possible. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but that is a part of the plan that I try to make sure I write out so that way it's more of a chance that we'll do it. All right, so now I need some boxes. So I love this sticker book so much, you guys. Okay, what color do I wanna do? I did that last time. Oh, that would look really nice. Let's do that. 
is green. It's like a mint green. Okay. So let's see. Okay, let's see what else I want to use. I know I want to add some of these florals and I love these cute little florals. Grab my scissors. So we can bring everything all together. I'm hoping there's another one of these in, in here, but if not, then I don't want to chance it. So I'm going to pop this one down here at the bottom so that way everything is tied together. Okay, let's see. This is cute. This page is for a spring bucket list. So it says go on a picnic, and that is something that I want to do. And if we could do it next week, that would be great. these little flowers that I can use. Okay, I think I'm gonna grab this box here and I'm gonna cut it and layer it. Okay, and then I'm gonna take some more of these colorful boxes so we can tie everything together in the colorful, the color that we had already chosen, which was this mint green. got more of these little flowers thank goodness that we can pop in different places All right, let's see what else we got here All right, I'm gonna add these to day stickers Here and then on this one because remember you guys remember how I like my dashboard layout to kind of be structured these two boxes are the same these two are the same these two are the same and this one's kind of like on its own these other two little flowers here see where else I could put these oh yeah we have more of these flowers perfect yeah I love these they're so cute
Okay, I better stop before I go crazy because I will keep adding those over, you know, over and over again wherever I can find a place to add them. And I don't want it to go stir crazy. Okay, I'm liking the way it's coming together. I do love this big yellow. This one's so cute. I don't know if I can find a place to put this though. last one up here very springy right well, let me see what else I can add without doing too much because I'm I'm just a couple of stickers away from doing too much so let's see this section is the to buy section so we can cover it up with one of these stickers and then we can put this sticker that says to go down here This one for the goal section. All right, I just noticed these, but I kind of want to incorporate more green. Okay, these are probably gonna be the last two. Cause I, I see how things can go sideways. All right, I kinda wanna put some dots there or something there so I can bullet point some things. Let me see what that can be. Oh, perfect. I just gotta figure out what color I want. How about, let's just do the teal. I put, normally this is for my spiritual studies. So I try to put seven if it can fit. Normally it does fit. And um, I write out what I wanna do each day for the week. I don't think I spaced them out far enough apart. So let's go back before we get too deep in. good yeah I think we're good I think that definitely looks like a spring spread um, I'm kind of wanting to add another colorful box somewhere I just don't know where or yeah I think I better leave it because I just feel like I'm gonna throw it off in some way if I add anything additional I feel like we're we're good we're good okay so that's it you guys this is my spring spread I love it it's so colorful and pretty and I think it's got a great 
flow and a great balance and I'm excited to write on these pages. So thank you guys so much for watching today. Hopefully you got a little inspiration. You found something that maybe you want to use for your planner and you'll give me a thumbs up on this video. If you enjoyed watching, you'll also consider subscribing to my channel and you'll stop back by and catch another video in which case I'll see you guys then.